Hey guys, welcome back today. Thanks for joining me. We have the Disco Double in front of us today. We're not going to be talking about the Disco Double, but we're going to be modifying it actually. Uh, if you've watched the other videos I've done with the Disco Double, the Double Tube Kit was only the first step. So now I have part two of the modification ready to go and ready to install. So we're going to show you guys how to install it today. So you guys are obviously wondering what is part two? What's the next modification? Well, I have a multi-shot breach here from BNM Air Guns. Uh, Sergio over at BNM was very kind enough to uh, send this along to me for the installation video and to uh, give it a good workout. So we're going to get right to it and I will give you guys a close up. We'll talk a little bit about the product and then we'll get to the install. So we have the BNM breach in front of us, the multi-shot breach for the Discovery. As you can see, that blue paint on there, just you can see the sparkles in it right now. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, just looks incredible. Uh, so we have our rear bolt. Very, very smooth thus far. I'm kind of interested to see how tough it'll be with the, uh, with the stock hammer spring and the disco in there. So that'll be interesting. As you can see there, we have the 11 millimeter dovetail. And then coming around to the other side, you can see BNM in there. And you take a look at the underside, it has all your areas. There's the uh, air transfer port. And you, you can see this is uh, all the where the bolt follower is. And you can see that moving in there. So very, very easy. Uh, you do want to be careful because the screws up front are not held down just yet until you install it. So you want to make sure you can keep track of those. So I was also sent a barrel band. Now this is a matching barrel band and as you can see the paint job is exactly the same and just phenomenal. Here is your stock Discovery barrel band. Now as you can see there is a big difference in terms of height. Now that is because the breech raises your barrel up. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, you may have to recite in your scope once you install but very very simple change. Now for me I have the Disco Double. You guys all know that. So Sergio was kind enough to make me a custom barrel band for it and this has the double tube inlet in it as you can see this is my old double tube barrel band that I got from Lloyd at Airgun Lab and you can see again a much higher raise for the elevation of the breech. Uh, Lloyd actually also is making barrel bands if you do order the double tube kit and you have a BNM breech already so that's something to be aware of as well. One thing I forgot to mention about the BNM breech is that is a really big selling point. They take the Marauder magazine. Very inexpensive magazine, very effective magazine. So it's very easy to get your hands on a bunch of them. I will show you how it inserts here. Simply pull your bolt out get your magazine in there and then it snaps right into place very very simple guys fantastic that it uses that that marauder magazine very nice feature all right guys so the first thing we want to do is take our proper allen key loosen up all of the screws on our barrel band and just slide it right off. Alright guys, so first things first, we want to remove our stock. Now I've already taken the safety out. The taking the safety out, safety out is very simple. You just want to wedge something in here beside uh, under the little spring, pop it out, and the safety slides right out. To remove the stock, you need a screwdriver. You can use a uh, flathead or a um, Phillips head, either one will work for this. Okay, that was. It is a Phillips head screw, so I would recommend that. I just have the flat head on there now, so that's what I'm using. Very easy to do. And another thing to notice, guys, we are completely depressurized. It is very important whenever you're doing work on a precharged gun to depressurize it. Take safety precautions first and always. So now we're just going to slide the action in the barrel out of the stock and set our stock aside. Alright guys, so now that we have all our uh, guts hanging out, so to speak, we're going to start removing the set screws that hold the breech in. Now this rear screw actually holds your breech 
into the first tube, which is this part back here is actually not the air tube, but the housing for the hammer is back here. So we very simply remove that screw. There we go. So now we're going to remove this little set screw in here. One, two, three, comes out nice and easy. Like I said, you want to make sure you have somewhere to keep these things. They're very small, easy to lose. So our next step is to take that flathead screwdriver again, and we want to remove this screw right here in the back. This is actually holding the hammer spring in place right now. So you also have to take into account the fact that there's tension on that hammer spring. Not a lot, but you got to be careful. You will slowly start to see this move back here. So I'm going to keep my finger behind it, or my hand, in order, so, in order to maintain safety and make sure this doesn't pop off and lose your spring or anything like that. As you can see, it just slides right out there. And there we have our plug and your hammer spring. Now a lot of people will swap these out, but we'll talk about that in another episode. Now this next step is very important. We need to remove the little hex screw right under the tip of that bolt. But as you can see, we don't exactly have the room to remove the entirety of the bolt without um, actually breaking anything. So here's what we're gonna do. Now some of you may not know this, but the bolt is actually two pieces. You have the handle, which you can actually unscrew, and then we have the probe, which sits in here. Now what we wanna do with the probe is slide it as far back as we can. And you can see also, we have the interconnection between the bolt and the hammer that cocks everything in the gun. So as you can see, we now have access to that hex key. We want to take a very, very small Allen key. This can be tough to find the proper Allen key for, so you definitely want to have multiple sets. So we just unscrew that. Now be very careful with this one. There we go. Got it out right there. Set that aside as well. All right, so now that we have everything taken off, I suppose, we're just going to pull up on the entire assembly and you have your breech right here. And you have your barrel and this is a little covering for the barrel that uh, comes on the Discovery, so we'll leave that on there for now. We're just gonna set that aside. All right, so as you guys can see, we have access to just about everything. It's important to notice, as I just showed you that transfer port, that the breech from Sergio and BNM is going to have everything you need in it already. It has the transfer port already in it. It's going to have the proper screws that you need to put in all the proper places. So it's really not necessary to leave much of the uh, stock parts in the gun. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is remove our transfer port. You wanna make sure you leave the little plastic gasket in there. Alright guys, now our next step is going to be disassembling the breech a little bit here so we can fit it onto our air tube. Alright, so the first step in disassembling this breech is removing the screw that actually retains the bolt. As you can see, that's in its down and retained position and you pull it back and you guys get the idea. So we want to take that out. A hex key will fit this, so and you just turn it. Alright, now that we're done with that, we should be able to slide our bolt all the way out. And there you have it. There is your bolt. The whole assembly is one piece. Now what also comes out here. Come on. What also will come out is this little screw that threads into the uh, 
degassing port, which is very important as well. So you want to make sure you maintain and, and keep your hands on all this stuff. All right, guys. So our next step in remove or in disassembling the breech, I should say, is going to be removing these screws here and pulling this front part out. Now I've already pre-loosened them. It's just a matter of getting your proper hex key in there and loosening them up. Very easy to do. And you want to pull this piece right out. Now, now when you flip this over, you will notice the transfer port and an O-ring. You want to remove the transfer port, leave the O-ring. Be very careful not to displace the O-ring. It also may be a good idea to put some silicone grease on that O-ring as well, just to keep it fresh. Alright, so our next step once we have the transfer port out is going to be reinstalling this block right here. Again, very easy to do, and yes, you do want to reinstall it without the transfer port in it, and I will get to that later. But it's just as easy as retightening these two hex screws. Just get them in there as tight as you can. And now that we are all done with that, we're going to fit our barrel into the breech.